the Chucky movies. Now, I was trying to think of the actual name, but uh, that, that movie happened to come on. I said, Dad, do you want to change the channel? He's like, Gus, you can sit here and watch. I want to watch this. You can sit here and watch it with me. Or, you know, you can go out there. And I look, and into the hallway I see just darkness. And I, as I've said, I have an issue with being scared, you know. So I was, I'm not afraid to admit this. I was, I was pretty afraid of the dark until maybe nine, nine or ten, and maybe, maybe even eleven. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, it was. So I was like, oh. Well, I could either watch this potentially scary movie and get traumatized-ish, or I can go out into the dark, scary house and get killed by murder or eaten by a monster. I'll take traumatized, because I was a silly child, and I didn't remember that, you know, you could turn on lights and eventually everything would be okay. But, so I sit there. Child's Play, that's the name. Don't look it up, actually, if you are a young child. I'm deadly serious, because although... Kids these days, if they're on the internet, they're not really scared by much. That's kind of why I wish the internet had been more prevalent in my life. Although, it's good that I didn't get addicted to it until now. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I... So, I watched the movie. Not all of it, obviously. Uh, we get to the part... I can't remember which one it was. Probably the first one. Uh, she finds a doll. It goes crazy in the car at some point. I think I haven't seen the movie much since uh, maybe two years ago I watched it again uh, and it's when the doll s uh, spoiler I uh, hope I don't traumatize anyone the doll kills someone in their car and it's scary it was it's scary to me as a seven-year-old six-year-old actually probably but um, yeah and so I'm begging I'm pleading I'm like dad turn it off dad turn it off and finally he's like fine like the great father he is, and he finally turned it off. And so I'm not sure if that's what eventually traumatized me. I couldn't really sleep that night at all. Uh, I managed to sleep the next night, but uh, after that, I'd wake up sometimes and uh, have to just turn on the lights and sit for a while. Sometimes I'd, sometimes I'd call for my mom, but not, not I don't remember really many... Uh, significant times where I had to call for my mom but uh, yeah so that was that was um, terrifying and I'm not sure if that's what's traumatized me but um, oh oh the other thing that's uh, that super traumatized me recently actually maybe two y I don't remember how long it's been around it might have been last year even but two years ago uh, one second. I want to concentrate while I kill this group of guys. Alright, yes. So, spoiler. Honestly, do not if you don't know about these things already, uh, then don't. I would just say don't look them up. I'm just being kind of kind here. Kind of over, over, uh, over protective ish. Because I don't want to, I don't want to be responsible for giving anyone nightmares or making anyone scared or whatever because they looked it up when they heard me talk about it. Uh, so don't. Honestly, if you think that this kind of stuff scares you, you might not want to look this up if you haven't already heard about it. I mean, if you've been on the internet before, you've probably heard about it. Uh, but last year, I got uh, trolled by someone, and it it put up the picture of um, of God. How can I not remember his name now? Jeff the Killer. Oh my God put up the picture of Jeff the Killer, and it was the one that you can't close out of, so I had to force quit uh, Google Chrome. F that, I was, I was scared 
for like days afterwards. I just and now I never click links. I never click links that I don't know for sure will be safe. Um, because of that. Uh, and what happened was, uh, I clicked it, and it came up, and I'm like, ah, and I'm frantically trying to quit it, and I do, I quit it. And I'm like, ah, I'm okay, I'm okay. And then when I go to, try to go to sleep this, uh, the night, I can't. And I just, whenever I, uh, turn off the light or whatever, I just, uh, imagine that face. And so... Whoa, that scared the flippity flap out of me. Um, and so that was really bad. And it was it was school it was school time, not uh, summer. And so for the next week, week and a half, I slept. I had to sleep with um, this desk lamp on because uh, and I was going to sleep maybe twelve. Uh, and it just it just really bothered me for some reason. Probably because the face is terrifying, but I don't know. It just really affected me super strongly. And I knew it wasn't the person's fault because uh, they didn't know, you know. How are they to know that it would permanently, not permanently, but like that it would traumatize me for a little bit. I didn't blame the person. It wasn't really anyone I knew personally that well anyways, so... It's not like me being mad at them would affect it in any way, but still. Yeah. So, from then on, I've strayed away from the dark side of the internet. All things weird, scary, and whatnot. I've just been like, nope, Chuck Testa. Yeah, so fun stories about me. What? What are you. <laughs> You suck at this game. I like how I can throw my lightsaber and still have it. Feel like a boss. Whoa, you guys are killing each other. Oh my god. Now I just have to remember how to get home. Um, oh, I think I totally have enough clay. Uh, huh. Just gotta find my way home. Huh, this is bad. This is bad. I might have to just cut out this wander uh this meandering. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Alright, I will be right back. Alright, I'm back. I am back. Uh yeah. <clears throat> so cool stuff. Uh, powers. Let's see if I can... No, seriously, is this bugged? I don't know. Whatever. Having a fun time just building anyways. Hey. Hey, friends. Oh, wow. Really? Really? Get out. Get out. Idiot. Get... Arg. Arg. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, God, why are you? Uh, all right, so I'm cutting that part out. I just cut out a part. That's okay. You guys will see it, obviously. It's like a jump cut. Well, I do not have enough coal at all. Oof. Oof. No coal, not good. So, here's what I'll do. Charcoal is fine. Come on. There you go. Yes, stand by. I, I know. I know you're standing by. Good boy. So, I'll knock out a bunch of trees, cook up their wood. And then, we'll have more. Bam. Magic. 
12 minutes left in this episode, as far as I know. It should be 12 minutes-ish. Yeah, 12. So, I'll keep my eye on the clock. Don't want to go over. Yeah, I get that you're maintaining the defensive perimeter. That's a uh, good job. Good job. That's 28. Let's go up to 80. So I'll get a stack in 16. I'm gonna kill you guys if you don't be quiet. Yeah, Roger, Roger. So be quiet. 39. Urgh. Urgh. Oof, that's not close. I'm not even close to a stack. Am I? No. No. Well, I close is rel relative. No, it's not. What am I saying? Oh, I'm tired. Talking this long really takes a lot out of you. Just saying. But, it's like one of my last free days-ish to record for a while. So, I've got to do it. It doesn't really help that I'm hungry. Have I mentioned that yet? Yes, I have. A lot. Because I am very hungry. Alright, let's talk about favorite YouTubers. You can list yours in the com- I really want to know what kind of audience I have, honestly. So, who is your favorite YouTuber? And if you yourself are a uh, medium to large or small or whatever size YouTuber, I don't know why I started mentioning size. I'm, I'm uh, self-conscious. <laughs> no, um, shh, I'm talking. But, um... Who who's your inspiration? Who who do you watch to get inspiration? Who's your favorite YouTuber? Mine would be personally. I enjoy uh, Pause and Pause, Nerd Cubed, Pulsers Junior, completely and utterly, and Chimney Swift Eleven in a lot of ways. Uh, are my inspiration. They were who I was watching when I started. Ah, ow. Sorry about the yawning. And, uh, yeah. Um. I really like. Uh, who do I like? Who do I like? Not like that. Um. Scene Anners. He. He's a nice guy. Uh, he's funny. I like him a lot. And they are who I think I think they are my favorite YouTubers. In a lot of ways, I think that they they're the best. I don't want to say best because every YouTuber has their merits and faults. So I, I don't want to say best. I think that they represent um, represent the the YouTube community the best, like the YouTube gaming community. Like, c -Nanners, he's really funny. He gets along with everyone. Uh, kind of, he's goofy, a little more mature. Chimney Swift, a little less mature, still goofy, still fun. Paul Swift Jr., uh, family guy, doing this mostly out of the good of his heart for fun. I respect that a lot. Uh, started it just just because he people wanted him to um, who else did I mention nerd cube <laughs> British <laughs> uh, doesn't work with anyone and the reason I say that is well I mean he works with people but he's mostly a solo gaming channel and the reason I say that uh, reflects on the gaming community and YouTube a lot is because um, there are those solo channels that go solo and still make it big or decently big. Uh, I guess kind of like PewDiePie, 
Um, I really, really like Paz on Paz, too. And I think he represents the group of friends who do it. He's he's vulgar, kind of. Like, he swears, but not, not in a bad way. Like, he doesn't do it. He doesn't do it because it's quote unquote funny. He does it because uh, because that's how he's feeling at the time, and I I think that is uh, very very admirable uh, because you can just do the thing where you swear a bunch on YouTube, and people are like hilarious, hilarious, <clears throat> and not everyone can do that, obviously, but um, but a lot of people I think do. Uh, and I, I think that it's cool that there can be a channel like Pause and Pauses where he, he swears, not because it's funny, but because he, uh, he feels that way and he's more reserved about it, you know? Who else did I mention? Uh, I think that's it, but I think that they, I might be missing, like, an aspect, but, uh, and they're all... Mostly, long time. Pause and pause. I think is three years old. Paul, uh, getting close to f four, maybe three. Chimney Swift, eleven, two. Nerd Cube, I think two ish. Uh, if you're gonna talk old, then uh, you have to go back to. Uh, Paul Source Jr. was the. F first person I think besides X to he was the first besides X maybe not sure if he was before or after if he were before or after uh, to put Minecraft videos so he he is the huge I think he's the unsung hero of YouTube he should be whoever YouTuber wants to meet and thank because he is the reason that it got big on YouTube I mean it might have besides that but he really uh, he really Started something off, and Blue Zephos, if you're going to talk old, they're like six, five or six, I think. Oh, and Seamus, S-S-O-H-P-K-C. He's, he's a sarcastic, uh, old-ish channel. F not old-ish, old, like four or five years, I think. I don't know about all of these, don't quote me on all these things, but... And I... I think that the older channels are the ones that uh, should get the most respect, the most subs, because they've been working hard at it for a long time, and they've been semi-flagship type people, uh, and then they just dwindle, dwindle off, uh, as opposed to some of the, I'm not going to name names, because obviously... I do not want to get killed, <laughs> but uh, these guys are funny, they're good, they have good content, but they uh, pander a little too much, they cater to um, people a little bit, I feel, and that's not a good, that's not a bad idea, obviously, but um, people whose channels just like, one day they're at 30,000 subs, and then the next, oh my god, they're at a million and a half. It's like, they've been working at it for months, maybe, two months, no, not two, like four months, maybe, and suddenly they're up to a million and a half, but like cool guys like Pulsars Jr., they've been working at it for four years, and they're at 600,000. It just uh, gets me, and I think that that is, that is an issue, and it might be an issue for those huge channels, but um, because uh, they might just be a thing of internet where the internet's obsessed with them for a little bit and then they go away, but Paul Sturz Jr. will forever stay. I don't know. Um, they haven't been around long enough to see. But uh, there's been a huge turning point with PewDiePie. What is he, like 13 million subs? I don't know. I haven't been keeping track. Um, huge numbers. I mean, what the heck? Just 2008, just in 2008, I think, Nigahiga got to a million, and everyone was like, woo! 
And now it's like, a million? Psh, everyone has a million.